Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. It is I am the one and only Pac-Man here, and once again, I am back for the likes of the Mexi Toys videos. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for some more of Let's Play of Pac-Man World Repack for the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X slash S, PC Steam, and finally the Nintendo Switch. So, last time, we have basically managed to completely done with everything in terms of the forms of the Funhouse world, and as a result, we actually did that world pretty nicely, all things considered. In addition to that, we also managed to able to rescue Pack Sis, as what is known during the forms of this particular game alone. So, as a result, I honestly forgot to notice that, especially noticeable about the fact that I somehow did not realize about the fact that she does have her name, by the way. So, either way, today for this video is that we're going to be able to continue things on and move on to the fifth world in Pac-Man World Repack. And that is, of course, the Factory World. So to begin with, let's go into the forms of Perilous Pipes. So either way, just as I'll know about the fact that that is when the game starts to get a bit more difficult. And also straight to the point about the fact that, as I mentioned this before, I don't think it's possible we can able to actually complete this entire world in this video. But definitely in the next video for sure, to be more specifically until next Tuesday. Because of that though, as far as at this point in time, that this world in particular, alongside with the final world in the game, that uh, those two worlds might be considered this to be the longest worlds of the, of the, of the bunch. Especially because about that particular point where certain segments can go a bit lengthy, whilst other times though, there might be fewer do or die situations here and there for specific obstacles or anything else like that. So, but hopefully we're able to actually have no troubles with it at all, especially noticeable about the fact that after all, we can able to still utilize the hover jump ability. So just in case we can able to just make through certain obstacles very easily, even though despite the fact that it's a bit uh, broken as far as that's been concerned with, but either way, that, that might be saying something. So, yeah, a few things we want to explain for this point today, and that is that today's date, of course, the, uh, is the 15th of June today, in this case, in 2023 today. Naturally speaking, though, about the fact that there are quite a few bits I would like to mention, though, that is about the fact that you guys even remember that Sonic has already mentioned about since in yesterday's Sonic Frontiers Let's Play that basically does about the fact that he mentions about the fact that recently Avatar 3 has recently been delayed until 2025. I think the only reason being for this is nothing to do with the forms of Sonic the Hedgehog 3 as a movie itself. It's more specifically the writer's strike. So as a result of that kind of stuff though, that's the only thing I sort of able to actually notice about this from the start. Especially about the fact that not only does it delay uh, you know, Avatar 3, but also with Avatar 4 and Avatar 5. And to be more specifically, it's about the fact that I'm pretty certain that Avatar 4 is now going to be pushed back until, let's just say, 2029. Or, generally speaking, with Avatar 5, is now going to be pushed back until 2031. Jeez, 2031, I say. Well, mind you about the fact that we're still in the forms of the 2020s era. So, but either way, though, that must have felt a bit slightly interesting as far as what how the fact that that particular fifth installment of the Avatar film is going to be releasing on during at some point in the beginning portion of the 2030s era. I mean, seriously, when did all this happen? Well, as I mentioned this before, it's just about the fact that it's probably because the writer's strike is going on at the moment. And there's also short things worth noting for, not only does it delay quite a lot of those Avatar movies, but also say applies with the forms of some uh, Marvel movies, and especially noticeable with certain Star Wars movies recently. Especially about the fact, no matter what though, uh, they did at least manage to able to push for it. Uh, one of those movies in particular, which I'll explain more now in a moment, so... Anyway, so I'm afraid to tell you about the fact that matter was though is about the fact that I was originally trying to able to explain something more details about the forms of game announcements or anything else to be more specifically. But as it turns out about the fact that I think Sonic has already mentioned about a lot of stuff ever since in Sonic Frontiers. So because of that though, uh, I don't think there's any point I can able to mention about this right now. So what I will say it's about the fact that recently I've managed to able to got myself my another cosmetic character recently during the course of a Mario Kart tour, which as a result that we ended up in Ugh, Mario vs. Luigi tour recently. Now, as far as I'm aware, I did somehow receive 
Mario Samurai outfits, which as a result, it does look pretty cool looking, I'm not gonna lie. It especially helps about the fact that recently I've chose uh, Team Mario again, because obviously I do trust Team Mario ever since in last time, back in last year in 2022. So I would expect about the fact that Team Mario might able to actually become a victor again after the events of last year. But we'll show see what happens in due time, especially no sports fan enough we have to do with the most random luck based element to it for that particular versus tour in mind. But either way though, and something's worth noting for is about the fact that for what I've noticed is about the fact that unfortunately though, we didn't get a chance to able to get ourselves the pink me racing suit during any forms of in uh, the princess tour. But that's just because about the fact that I was actually doing at uh, at one point, I was actually doing quite well uh, during the course of in the first half of the actual tier system. Like, after all, I finally managed able to complete level 50 tier system on one of those challenges. So, I hopefully, I can able to guarantee to get myself the silver me racing suit in due time. But, on the other hand, though, for whatever reason, I just got pushed back back onto 49 and on top of that i didn't get a chance to able to get myself the pink me racing suit because again i'm not a big fan of the tier system after all because obviously with that particular ah uh, it's just a way of how the fact that certain aggressive players online most able to actually just to get better scores than me so because of that though that's what happens in journey forms of laser progressioning for a certain tier system in mind that at one point you were doing quite well but next thing you know is you will get screwed over so and speaking of getting screwed over though unfortunately though the waluigi me racing surge is locked out behind a stupid tier system which ugh, i'm still not a big fan of that Although, potentially speaking, though, is about the fact that I could potentially try to originally try to get myself uh, the Monty Mall me racing suit, but I don't think it's any point for my liking, because not only does it bring us to the Mushroom Cannon as a special skill item for the actual uh, Monty Mall me racing suit, but it's also about the fact that I think between uh, both Waluigi me racing suit as well as uh, Monty Mall me racing suit. They both belong to the forms of Team Luigi, so as a result, yeah, I don't think there's any point I can able to get those me racing suits at this point, especially I'm just gonna focusing on unlockable drivers, specifically uh, some cosmetics and some original characters, but either way though, that's just for my sake of convenience as far as that's been concerned with, so... But, I will have to admit it though right away, I do obviously enjoy going back onto Mario Raceway, on uh, Mario Kart 64, alongside with uh, GBA Luigi Circuit, which I'll admit though right away, it does have some uh, graphical updates for the sake of time. Like as a result, they changed the uh, the blimp design. So as a result for that kind of stuff, though, I do appreciate about that. In addition to that, though, I do appreciate able to go back onto Waluigi Stadium within a sunset vibe. And as a result, it matches the exactly the same track layout based off of Mario Kart Wii version of that particular track, because obviously with all its trick ramps, as well as the original Piranha Plant placements, as well as the Fireball Chain placements too. So, aside from all that stuff though, I think it seems kind of promising, all things considered. Well, despite the fact that we're still on the 98th uh, tour at the moment, so as a result, we're getting very close to the 100th tour for Mario Kart Tour, which I'm still curious to know what's it gonna be like, uh, until specifically, let's just say, until and at some point, until in July. So, it could be for possibilities though, maybe it might as well take place in somewhere in Rio, in Brazil, or something like that, for what I've heard on the forms of some data mines of uh, Mario Kart Tour itself, or something relates to that. But then again, though, we'll have to wait and find out and see what happens in due time, so... But, uh, anyway, so let's go ahead and mention something related to the forms of certain Marvel films are somewhat delayed, and some of them just pushed forward. Like, for instance, about the fact that obviously we're still able to expect that the Marvels will still be releasing until, uh, the 10th of November, so expecting it's unchanged. Now, as far as I'm aware, for the majority of any other films for that matter, usually for Phase 5, all the way up to Phase 6, basically though, is about the fact that certain films have been pushed forward, like, for example, Deadpool 3 is now gonna get pushed forward until it's gonna be releasing until, well, 
it's still say about the fact that it's going to be releasing into in some, at some point in 2024, but ultimately the release date has been confirmed, and it did say uh, the 4th of May, which is more accurately the replacement of Captain America uh, Brave New World, as far as the actual release date is concerned. So even then though, I'm curious to see how the fact that how Deadpool 3 is going to be like, especially noticeable about the fact that I cannot even believe about the fact that the third entry in the series is going to take place in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, especially noticeable because relatively speaking I'm very curious to, uh, to know what is it going to be like, so now, of course that familiar actor who plays Deadpool will still be on there, so I think that was actually a huge plus, so even that note that's going to be pretty exciting. Now, as far as I'm aware, uh, Captain America Brave New World is going to get pushed back until uh, the 26th of July, in, also in 2024. So, that pretty much explains any of that stuff. So, because of that, though, and as far as I'm aware, Thunderbolts is going to be pushed back and during at some point in next year's Christmas, specifically December 20th in 2024. And also with Blade, it's going to get pushed back until uh, the 14th of February in 2025. So we have to wait until specifically two years from now on. Now as far as I'm aware, when it comes to Phase 6, uh, when it comes to like not only Fantastic Four, but also with the films of the Avengers, the Chang Dynasty, alongside with the films of Avengers Secret Wars, basically is about the fact that for Fantastic Four, it's still be scheduled to be released at some point in 2025, but this time it's going to be releasing in June at some point on the 2nd of May. So, yeah, that's something. And as far as I'm aware, the Avengers, the uh, Chang Dynasty, it's going to be now going to be pushed back until the May the 1st in 2026. And finally, most notably, is the Avengers Secret Wars is now going to get pushed back until 2027. So as a result, jeez Louise, and is expected to be released at some point until the 7th of May in 2027. So yeah, a long, long, long way to go. Especially noticeable because we now need to wait for about four years until when that film is finally get a, uh, gets public release. So, pretty crazy kind of thing about it. Especially noticeable with certain release dates every now and then. We're able to actually get, like, a uh, change of plans for its uh, releases and stuff like that. Because, again, with all that particular writers, it's going on strike at the moment. So, now, I could possibly originally try to mention something related to Star Wars films as well. But, uh, unfortunately, though, I have no comments on that whatsoever, especially because, well, it's been a very long while since I actually have last watched something related to Star Wars since The Mandalorian. Now, despite the fact that there's a lot of controversial out there for the sake of the forms of, uh, you know, Mandalorian right now, or something related to that, I have no exact, well, controversies and stuff like that already from the get-go. Especially because of all that particular point that's not that successful and not only in China But also in South Korea as well, which I agree to that because obviously that film sucks And it's even bad enough about the fact that as far as what Sonic has already mentioned about this in Sonic Frontiers as well Unfortunately though, Moana Remake is definitely going to be coming at some point in 2025 Now despite the fact that this might be felt a bit a lot of controversy um, already from a get go as well, mainly because the original film, Moana, was not even 10 years old at this point. So, as a result of that kind of stuff, uh, though, what is this, like Sonic 06 syndrome or something like that? So, but either way, though, it feels like Disney is basically running out of ideas all over again. So, as a result, I just feel like it's now gonna get to the most silliest point if possible. So, because of this, though, I've got no words. So, Anyways, here we go with this next bonus stage, despite the fact that I've got time up because I didn't seem able to get enough time to uh, get to the actual pack dots uh, trails right here, but oh well, no big deal, especially noticeable I can easily try this again and drain at some point it's on the next stage, so that should be uh, not too shabby I guess, so, but then again though, it's been about two days ago since I've uh, last played this for sure, because obviously about the fact that I just somehow managed to take some of my time off for a little bit, just in case we'll let Sonic were able to take over for the majority of, uh, well, 
you know what I'm saying with uh, Sonic Frontiers. And I apologize for that particular belginess at the moment because I've been eating too much, not only cucumber, but also with uh, pack dots with it too. I mean, sure enough though, it's a weird combination from my perspective, but hey, at least that's something I suppose. So anyway, so that pretty much takes care of the forms of perilous pipes. So I think we might as well do one more level for the sake of this video, because as I said before, it doesn't seem it's going to be possible to able to complete the entire world within one singular video, unlike the forms of how it does it on the previous four worlds, because some stuff needs to happen, I guess. So, but either way, let's go and move on to the next level. So in some cases though, yeah, there's not much else you can say about this, personally speaking. So... Now, of course, we stumbled across into this iconic music. For those of you who ever played uh, the Game Boy Advance version of Pac-Man World 1, if you go into the title screen, that is. And basically, though, that music that music will uh, bring back journey forms within the Game Boy Advance version of Pac-Man World 1. So, specifically on the title screen music, but despite the fact that it sounds so rubbish, journey forms within the Game Boy Advance cartridge version. So. So as you can tell, we now moved on to under pressure level, so yeah, things will get a little bit more relative at this point, especially because, like I said before, that uh, I'll do one more level for this video, but after that, I'm also able to take a break for a bit, because obviously, that the weather itself, so far, it still feels a bit extremely hot at this point in time, so as a result, I did somehow manage to open my window for a bit just to get my fresh air in. In addition to that, maybe occasionally I do attempt to able to use the fan at one point, just in case if our room is actually going to get boiled in here. But I think I'm going to be alright, so either way though, that's why I can really think about it, I guess, so... But yeah, um, in terms of anything else I could possibly explain, um, unfortunately though, still no luck of the forms of the UK's release of uh, the Super Mario Bros. movie, where it comes to not only on Blu-ray, but also on 4K and DVD versions as well. Well, then again though, I'm sure that about the fact that I believe both uh, Mario and Sonic are both are very impatient right now. Although, I am patient, you know, because I am the most independent video game mascot since in 1980, so... Yeah, that probably explains it how about the fact that I am the legendary video game mascot before Mario, before Sonic, and before Mega Man. Because, you know, I'm the god when it comes to, like, the arcade game Pac-Man, of course. But, either way, though, I have no idea why I say things weirdly enough at this point today. Plus, just because about the fact that I was expecting to be able to mention something else for that matter. But, either way, though, that's as far as I can usually say about that, I guess. So... So, um, anywho, so another thing I should probably explain about this as well, we've only got about roughly eight days left now, to be more specifically, with Sonic Origins Plus DLC expansion, plus the physical version of the actual compilation of the game itself too. So, yeah, that's what I can really say about this, I guess. And maybe potentially we might be able to actually hear some news and updates in regards of the forms of Sonic Frontiers coming up. To be more specifically, something related to the tw uh, the 32nd um, birthday for Sonic the Hedgehog. For to be more specifically, the second uh, free DLC for uh, Sonic Frontiers. So I think, relatively speaking, though, about the fact that I believe between both Sonic Frontiers second DLC, alongside with Mario Plus Rapid Sparks of Hope, uh, second DLC, the last Spark Hunter. Basically, both of those DLCs combined will be pretty exciting, all things considered. Well, mind you about the fact that we were expecting to able to hope that uh, DLC 3 were expected to came around in exactly the same time frame. Uh, Mario Plus Rabbit Spikes of Hope uh, final DLC, but then again, uh, we'll have to wait and find out in due time. Especially noticeable that, I don't suppose if you noticed, but recently about the fact that we stumbled across a huge issue at the moment in our microphone commentary recording sessions in mind, that, for whatever reason, whenever when this thing decides to able to lag a bit again, and as a result, it always cuts off my commentary, which as a result, it feels very disjointed recently, so I definitely need to fix that at some point, until specifically, like, God knows if Sonic were able to actually go back onto Sonic Frontiers to able to fix that issue, or generally speaking, if Mario and Luigi are about to go back onto Mario Super Sluggers to also fix their solution too. I mean, 
time will tell, especially noticeable because this particular issue that we have, uh, since in about a couple of months ago, or a couple of weeks ago at this point, that, jeez, it's always so inconsistent with our microphone at the moment, especially it's bad enough about the fact that I'm pretty sure that, uh, Silver accidentally knocked over the drink recently, and as a result, it almost drips right onto that microphone itself. Although, luckily it still works, but if it does broke, then we have to get another one, so either way. Now, despite the fact that we almost had this microphone for about roughly about i would say we have this micro microphone for three years now so but either way though it could be possible about the fact that we can get ourselves the replacement you know like in exactly the same year pattern as in the previous uh, microphones that we attempt to use uh back in the day during the course of it not only in 2015 but also with the forms of in 2017 as well as 2018 or 19 for that matter but Either way though, I've sort of lost count with the forms of the memories that we had for uh, certain microphones that we'd be using, so... Oh well, I guess sometimes that technical difficulties will come into play every now and then, so... I apologize for this point, folks. I really am, so... Hopefully, as I said before, I'll try to fix that once I'm able to actually finish this commentary in mind, so... Oh yeah, speaking of which though, it's about the fact that until tomorrow, I'm about to be hitting back onto Sonic Dash again, and this time, I'm about to get myself the Pirate Sonic outfit. Which as a result, about the fact that I'm pretty sure that particular outfit does exist, alongside with the forms of one of those, uh, Actimel-like mascots, from the likes of the Americans only, which you know with that particular monkey guy, I'm not exactly sure what his name is though, Mind you, because it's been about a couple of months ago since I actually known about the forms of that particular mysterious character that you can able to scan in. Like, it was part of the forms of the actual 30th anniversary of Sonic the Hedgehog back in 2021, that is. So, but either way, though, that's what I can really ask for, I guess. So, so of course, keep this in mind is about the fact that since we now moved on to the next maze in, uh, you know, during the forms of in a factory world. As you can tell about the fact they need to pay attention to the forms of that particular uh, gas meter gauge. So just in case about the fact that if it hits, if it hits uh, red, basically that the steam will come out. And basically you have to avoid the steams at all costs. So something worth classifying for noticing this right from the get go. So but either way though, that must have saved something. So and still about the fact that speaking of Sonic Dash, that's I almost finishing up everything in terms of the forms of trying to able to complete every single construction part here and there, specifically the rail grind uh, construction in the forms of in Sky Century section. So because of that though, because, you know, it's been like almost, you know, 10 years ago since I actually first tried out Sonic Dash and as a result, after now finally obtaining it, back in 2014, whenever we got our first mobile phone, or to be more specifically, an iPhone to be more specifically. Now as far as what Sonic did actually told me something, that basically the first iPhone we've got, which appears to be the original iPhone 5, despite the fact that there was a massive issue for that particular model because we somehow got it from second hand, now as a result we ended up with the worst battery life. And it continues that up until 2017 that we did spend a lot of cash to able to get the batteries replaced. And as a result, it wasn't until when it gets to the point until nearly at the end of 2017 that we got ourselves the second iPhone, which appears to be iPhone, I would say iPhone 6S Plus, despite the fact that we also got it from secondhand stores. And obviously about the fact that Shadow just somehow realized that he accidentally dropped the phone and it actually caused a crack. Now, as a result, that's probably his accidental fault. And, uh, during the films event 2018, I remember looking back on it, though, that the third iPhone that we've got back in the day, which appears to be the original iPhone 6, you know, with the phones that have a limited amount of uh, gigabyte storage, and on top of that, that is when the point about the fact that that's essentially is probably is my least favorite phone to have, especially because, not only because of less... Uh, gigabyte storage that we'd be having, but also about the fact that every time whenever we play Mario Kart Tour on the uh, iPhone 6, the original model, uh, basically it always attempts to make the game crash, and as a result, like every time when I start the race, or potentially speaking, if I go into like, uh, Vancouver Velocity Track, 
Oh jeez, I remember the dreadfulness whenever I was first experienced that particular track ever since in 2020 and for whatever reason the track is completely unplayable in a iPhone 6 model because not only does it crash every single time whenever you go into a race and not only that, when you finish the race it also attempts to crash and I've locked my progression so because of that though yeah, I essentially got ticked off back, uh, back then Especially because about the fact that, gee, no wonder why we're just gonna have to move on to other iPhones. Now, despite the fact that most advanced iPhones has already existed up to this point, so as a result, it wasn't until in 2021 that we uh, managed to get ourselves the fourth iPhone, which appears to be by the forms of iPhone 8. To be more specifically, the original uh, version of iPhone 8. And overall, it's definitely a massive improvement than the likes of iPhone 6 to me, though. And in addition to that, currently we got ourselves the uh, the fifth phone during the course of by the end of 2022. Now, as a result, we've now got iPhone XR, which originally I was expecting to hope for iPhone 11 or 12 or 13, but definitely not 14 because 14 is super duper expensive at this point. So as a result of that kind of stuff, though, I am super happy about. Um, XR right now, especially because not only because I'm pretty much used to with the lack of uh, the button center on this screen. In addition to that, though, I love the comfortable factor of it, and especially noticeable. I just love the actual sleek design on the actual UI and stuff like that. So, but either way, though, that must have said something. So. But uh, yeah, that's as far as I can think about in terms of the forms of today's discussion, aside from, you know, some brief uh, miscellaneous uh, topics, you know, with the actual history about my iPhones I've been having for uh, the past few years, since 2014. Because mind you, the first time we actually experienced the iPhone, I believe that uh, Sonic did actually tell me something, that the first phone he discovered, it appears to be by the forms of iPhone 3, like 3G to be more specifically, back in the beginning of 2008. So as a result of that kind of stuff though, while looking back on it though, it feels really, really strange to be able to look back on iPhone 3G. It's especially noticeable because the model itself looks a lot more dated, and on top of that, certain software updates has also been outdated as well. And in addition to that though, the bulkiness is involved, and also with the forms of the curvy parts or the actual grip or something like that, which that was before when, uh, not only, uh, I would say iPhone 6 and 7 and 8 and X and XR and even 11 curvy uh, parts here and there. And on top of all that stuff though, gee, no wonder why that Apple just, for, for whatever reason, they managed able to skip over number 9. Which as a result of that kind of stuff though, it's been like, uh, you know, Model Combat just somehow skipped over number 12 and jumped straight back into 1. So even then, though, no, I've honestly have no words to think about it, so... Yeah, I think this is as far as I can talk about for this topic for this point today. Although, then again, though, I was expecting I need to try and fix that microphone problems I somehow come across into. Especially, it doesn't help about the fact that I think the, the only thing is causing it, though, is the lag. Which, as a result, the lag is always going to be super bothersome at some form or another. Like... As I mentioned this before, it always happens every single time. Whenever we manage to capture footage, stuff it relates to like, you know, best quality if possible. To be more specifically with 1080p and all that stuff, I mean, still, it is so inconsistent. Especially because, as I said before, every time whenever I was trying to upload something relates to the forms of best quality for the actual capture footage and everything. And, you know, the lag happened and it's just super bothers me still. But, uh, I'm sure that you might come across into that annoying issue, uh, recently, especially noticeable how, like, I know for a fact that we've almost had this laptop, the Acer laptop, to be more specifically, for almost like, uh, let's just say we have this thing for about 9 years and 11 months now, so I think until by that time, until next month, it'll be marks the 10 years for having the Acer laptop since then, so, I mean... You know what I'm saying, time flies and stuff like that. And something's worth noting for that uh, eventually at some point in, I would say, uh, next week or so, uh, basically it's about the fact that Monsters University were expected to become uh, 10 years old. And during that some point until roughly next week, 
to be more specifically next Wednesday. So because of this though, yeah, my fancy just trying to able to celebrate that. Uh, during that sub point, and God knows until next week, or perhaps even maybe Sonic will attempt to celebrate that whenever he goes back on to Sonic Frontiers. So, yeah, you probably get the just a bit though. So, hopefully, we're able to succeed uh, the bonus stage for reals because the first time around that we didn't uh, complete it in time because of that strict time limit. So, hopefully, that we will be able to succeed this time around though for. Reels, especially noticeable because if you really want 100% everything in this remake, in addition with the original version of the game as well on the PlayStation, you have to complete all of those bonus areas in due time. Because if you failed on them, basically that the percentage uh, meter will not increase. So, something's worth noting for, and I think I might as well head back onto the PlayStation version of Pac Man World in my own time for a bit. So just in case I can able to actually look back onto, uh, well, you know what I'm saying, the rest, the rest of the forms of the Pac-Man World games to able to look back on it though. Yeah, including uh, Pac-Man World 3 as well, for the likes of not only on the PlayStation 2, but also on the Nintendo GameCube versions as well. So, yeah, as far as we can think about it. So with that being said, I think we should probably end things off as soon as we able to be completely done with the slot machines. So, yeah, join me next time for more of Let's Play of Pac-Man World Repack. That is that we'll move on to the third level in the factory world and we'll rescue Pac-Man Jr. and to take on the fifth boss in the game. So yeah, I'll see you guys until on next Tuesday. Later fellas.